Welcome to Nature with Aristotle, where we delve into the fascinating world of the natural sciences. Today, we're going on an adventure to explore one of the most intriguing creatures in the animal kingdom, the tapir. Imagine a large, herbivorous mammal with a distinctive snout similar to a trunk and a coat that's a mesmerizing mix of brown and white stripes. That's the tapir, a species that's been roaming our planet for millions of years. But what makes the tapir so significant in the natural world? To understand its importance, let's start with its evolutionary history. The tapir belongs to the family Tapiridae and is one of the oldest living mammalian families on Earth. Fossil records show that tapirs have remained largely unchanged for over 50 million years, making them a remarkable example of evolutionary stability. But, despite their long history, tapirs are still poorly understood by many and their habitats are under threat. From a scientific perspective, tapirs are classified into four distinct species, the South American tapir, the Malayan tapir, the Baird's tapir, and the Mountain tapir. Each species has its unique characteristics, such as differences in coat coloration and snout shape. But what's fascinating is how these differences have evolved over time to adapt to their specific environments. One of the key researchers who contributed significantly to our understanding of tapirs is Dr. Patricia Medici, a renowned expert on tapir conservation. Her work has highlighted the importance of preserving tapir habitats, which are often threatened by deforestation and human activities. But what's interesting is how tapirs have adapted to their environments in remarkable ways. For example, did you know that tapirs are excellent swimmers? They use their trunks as snorkels to breathe while crossing rivers, and their webbed feet help them paddle through the water with ease. This unique adaptation allows them to thrive in a variety of habitats, from tropical forests to grasslands. But, what's even more fascinating is how tapirs interact with other species in their ecosystems. Tapirs play a vital role in maintaining the balance of their ecosystems. As herbivores, they help disperse seeds and nutrients through their droppings, which can lead to the creation of new plant growth and habitat diversity. They also serve as an important food source for predators, such as jaguars, pumas, and harpy eagles. But what's remarkable is how tapirs have formed symbiotic relationships with other species, such as birds and insects, which help them gather food and avoid predators. However, tapirs are facing numerous threats in the wild, including habitat loss, fragmentation, and poaching. The destruction of their habitats has led to population decline and isolation, making it difficult for these amazing creatures to survive. But what's heartening is that conservation efforts are underway to protect tapir populations and their habitats. For instance, the World Wildlife Fund is working with local communities to establish protected areas and corridors for tapirs to roam freely. Additionally, researchers like Dr. Medici are studying tapir behavior and ecology to inform conservation strategies. But what's crucial is that we all play a role in protecting these incredible creatures. So, what can we do to help protect tapirs? Firstly, supporting conservation efforts such as habitat protection and restoration is crucial. We can also make conscious choices in our daily lives, such as choosing sustainable products and reducing our carbon footprint, which can help reduce the impact of human activities on tapir habitats. By taking these steps, we can ensure the long-term survival of this incredible species. As we conclude our journey into the world of tapirs, let's reflect on the importance of preserving these incredible creatures and their habitats. By protecting tapir populations and their ecosystems, we are not only ensuring the long-term survival of this species, but also maintaining the integrity of the delicate balance that exists within nature. That's all for today's Nature with Aristotle. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and until next time, may your curiosity about the natural world continue to flourish.